Hi guys, Fig Selector here, back with another video. And this time, as promised, I've got one of the uh, Last Night on Earth from DC Multiverse figures from the Wave. Uh, so this review is Wonder Woman, and as you can see, I paid £19.99. Cheap and cheerful. You can see the card in the back there that comes with a figure. And if we flip it round, you can see a better. Whoops! You can see a better view of what that card picture is, and some of the figures in the wave. So that's the box. Uh, very basic. It is what it is. Yada yada yada. Anyway, that ain't why we buy the figures, is it? So here's a figure in question, which is. Wonder Woman with a totally different look and as you can see here's a base that she comes with standard with the uh, DC emblem on it if you can just see that so the figure does come with a sword and only this accessory it's a flexible sword it's not solid plastic uh, which is a pros and a cons sort of thing uh, Less tap chance of it snapping if it fell, that's for sure So she does have this sheath which I haven't tried putting the sword in as yet uh, I'm not really fussed about putting it in there But it does move, it is sort of articulated if you like It's not stationary um, This bit here also, if you can see that this also moves less chance of breakage I suppose um, the figure in itself is very plain when it comes to paint applications the flesh tone is quite pale uh, looks like a northerner rather than some form of a Greek goddess um, I'm liking the uh, you know, mullet there on back, and the and the uh, yeah, different hairstyle from what I'm used to. Um, the detail on the cape is good as well. Well sculpted. Uh, it is textured. Can this camera pick it? Oh, only slightly, but it, it is textured to the touch. You can hear it. So anyway, the only thing that puts me off about this figure is the expression on the face. It's very plain looking. It'd have been better if it were sculpted with a bit more emotion going on in that face. I mean, she is holding a sword waiting for battle. It just seems a bit, you know, I'd like to have seen more of a snarl, a scowl, or scowl even. Something to... Uh, give you the impression that she's about to go into um, battle instead of about to go into Starbucks or something, you know. Um, anyway, so the articulation on this figure is 22 points of articulation. Um, you know, she has got that shoulder movement, even though it is somewhat hindered by this hard sort of rubbery cape. Um, she has got double gel, double jointed elbow she has got the standard rotation in her wrists as you do with most figures her head does have the standard articulation nothing over the top and extraordinary with that um, her body does crunch quite well and crunch back quite well it does have side to side movement and it does turn um, her legs do do the splits but somewhat hindered by this rubbery skirt um, there is a swivel on it as well but no thigh cut uh, she does have a double jointed knee and standard articulation in her ankle and she does have the toe articulation as well
But all in all, it's okay for what it is. You know, I know it's no Mezco, but still, for 20 quid, you can't go wrong. And uh, so, that's a quick review of Wonder Woman from the Last Night on Earth wave. So, thanks for watching and see ya.